Hello, beautiful. Oh my god, look at you today. You are stunning. Today we're watching people shave their head completely bald. I can hear the screams to the screen. Are we excited, dude? This is what we came here for, a transformation. Bigger than ever before. I'm ready to see people shave everything off and start completely fresh and new. That's the best part about shaving your head. It's like a new life. So let's check them out. If you're watching this video, that means that I did something drastic. I did something crazy. I did something probably without thinking about it all the way through. And that is I cut all my hair out. I have become consumed with conventional beauty standards. You're not beautiful until you look like this. Honestly, I'm just really tired of it. I'm tired of thinking that way. I'm tired of feeling that way. Oh my God. God, Courtney, you and me are on the same page today. This is not about me, but I'm gonna make it about me because I love talking about myself. I feel the same way. I feel like in the past couple years, I've been like doing things for societal standards. And now I'm like, who the f am I? Let's do something crazy. But you're saying the same thing that I am. Like you are over it. You're like, you know what? I try to be the societal standard of gorgeous. That is like unattainable. There is a standard, but the standard is so crazy that it's like how is anybody ever gonna get there and she's like i'm gonna go in the total opposite direction and just shave my head and i love that for you i think that's an amazing idea F societal norms and just be yourself and that is when your life opens up and you stop just being a product of your environment you start creating your environment you know what i mean i'm changing the channel name guys it's gonna be ted talks with brad mondo I want to be enough for me. I want to look at myself in the mirror and see just me and that be enough. And I'm not saying that you need to do that. You need to go out and shave your head to feel beautiful or anything like that. I am so excited for you and I honestly could not think of a better reason to shave your head. I cannot wait to see that self-confidence just wash over you. <gasps> this is what I live for. The power of hair and confidence. They're very intermingled or intertwined. I promise you I'm not like that unstable. You know, like this isn't a full-on Britney moment. Literally me. When people are like, how are you today? I'm like, you know what? I am not that unstable. That's as far as I can tell people. Just like, I'm not that unstable. You know, I'm still here. Oh, oh. <sighs> I always just get nervous. Like, I know it's like, I shouldn't be nervous at this point because I've seen so many of these, but I still just feel for these people. Like this is just such a huge change, especially when you held on to the same hair for so long and you go for a huge dramatic change like this. Like I am sure it's dramatic as f for you and watching it, it feels dramatic as f for me. I feel like it'll look cute be cute though. <sighs> There's one ponytail. I'm gonna be laughing through this whole thing. It's how I cope. Oh, it's gonna be so liberating. Wow. Okay, she has it all sectioned out. She's ready to cut. We're gonna go for the first section and I, oh my God, are we sure? <laughs> I, no, I am excited. I'm very excited for her. I'm just like, your hair is so pretty. Obviously I love hair. So when people cut it all off, I am like a little bit, a little sad, but I also get it. And it's a fun transformation. Okay, just do it, just do it. <gasps> <laughs> Did your heart just start beating faster? Because mine is, I feel, I feel. That's it, that's all I can say right now. I can only imagine that feeling that she had after cutting off that one big chunk of hair. Cause there's no going back now. You are in this for the long run. You have to complete the task now. Unless you wanna just have one side of your head, just shave it. I guess that's also a look, but I wouldn't recommend it. And um, oh my God, her face right now <laughs> says it all. She's shocked. Oh my God. I feel lightheaded, my arms are shaking. I already did the first one. <laughs> Should we turn back? Like this video if you think she should keep going. You already did the first one. You already did the first one. <gasps> wow, if you want to feel an adrenaline rush, cut all your hair off. Oh, I want to feel that so bad. That natural just rush of energy you get when you do something really dramatic to your hair. I don't get that anymore. Because I've had every single hairstyle possible, I can do anything to my hair and I will not feel anything. <laughs> Actually, I think if I shaved it, I would feel something. I've only done that like once in my life and I think maybe, maybe then I would feel something, but probably not. It usually just comes in like a quick wave. It's like, I feel it and then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go to bed now. It's always like at midnight, I'm like cutting my hair. Oh, it's so fluffy. Oh. 
Look at how much hair is in her hands. That feeling when you're holding that thing that has been on your head for so long, it's a trippy experience that I have never actually had, but I imagine it being a really trippy experience. I thought I had that experience and I just lived through it as I told you about it, but I actually never have. The longest my hair has ever been is like here. It was nice. And then I shaved it. So I have had that experience. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I feel so free. Oh my gosh. Why do I feel free? Why do I feel free? Her hair is thick, thick. That is a lot of strands of hair. I'm surprised she's even able to cut through it. Thank God she's using hair cutting scissors because that sh is thicky. What I love that she's doing here is cutting above the elastic. So that the elastic catches all the hair before it touches the ground. That way you have less cleanup and things are it's just all around easier. She is going through and cutting in sections. Do I wish her sections were a little neater? Yeah, it would be awesome. Like she went through the sectioning process, but then it kind of like fell through a little bit, you know? But it wasn't great because we got some long, long straggly hairs in the back and some shorter ones in the front and all over, it's all over the place. But she's gonna shave it anyway, so whatever. I can feel my scalp. My hair is so, look at that long. <laughs> Leave it just like that. This is the perfect look for you. Don't listen to me because I'm trying to sabotage you. This does, <laughs> this really looks horrible. What you know? Let's definitely finish the cut, please. Imagine she leaves it like this, I would freak. My hair feels dead. You know, that's not even that much. Look at that hair. This is what has been the sole source of me feeling validated and beautiful my whole life. This right here that I'm cutting off. She is cutting that hair down, baby. Down, down. This part always stresses me out because people just start hacking away at the hair with some scissors. Like sticking the scissors near their hand and then the just cutting everything. I'm like, please be careful. Those scissors are sharp. Do not cut too close to your hands. I worry about you. Please be careful. Oh my gosh, that feels so crazy. She already looks like a completely different person. It's actually wild. I'm gonna shave it with a shaver now. I'm in shock. Honestly, my head feels heavier than before. Okay, this is where everybody goes wrong though. <laughs> they start shaving their hair with a four guard on that thing. Do a one or a one and a half guard. Anytime you're shaving your head to complete shavenness, you do not want to have it like half grown out shaven, which is like a four guard. You want to get it really close to that scalp, if not on the scalp, because the hair grows back very quickly. So it's gonna look like already grown out and not purposeful if you don't cut it short enough. You want it to look purposeful, so you have to go really, really short. A one or one and a half or two maybe. It also depends on how thick your hair is. If your hair is very thick and dark, you can afford to do a one guard. If your hair is thin or light, you can probably do a two. I have never in my life seen clippers like that. What part do you hold? What are those? I think I need to do a lower one now. This is what happens when you choose the wrong guard. It's just awkwardly long. There's so much hair everywhere. I really have no idea what I'm doing. You don't say. You fooled me. I thought you had every idea. What was going on? I'm kidding. <laughs> no, that's not the right guard. Closer to your head. Do another one. I don't know how to cut my hair. This is a mid-twenties crisis. I don't know, I accidentally did it here. So I'm like, should we just do that all over? Cause then it's just like little. Oh, and we went too close to the scalp. How did we end up here? She has a whole like divot in her head now. Ah, uh, what happened? Like, should I go just go bald bald? Oh, you already did it, Lori. Oh, if I already did it, you have to do it everywhere? Yeah, you're gonna have to even that all out now, or else it's just not ever gonna make sense. Just go short or go home. Oh, it feels weird. <laughs> See, now this is what I'm talking about. This is like a 0.5 guard. Like, she went short, but now it looks purposeful. But I would have done a one. Oh my god, I can't believe that I did it. I'm bald. I'm literally bald. I have no hair. <sighs> You can't believe you did it. I can't believe you did it. You went for it. You did that. Oh my God. Uh, I feel so liberated. I don't really like know what it feels like yet. I think my like head is in shock. This is my hair. This is me. I let go of something that I never thought I could let go of. Wow, that was a rush. You only live once. And now I get to say that I shaved my head before. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I love it. I think this is such a fun look. I'm more so happy that she loves it and that she feels liberated 
elevated and she feels free and sexy and gorgeous. Like that is what makes this whole look, her whole sense of confidence. That's an incredible transformation. I hardly even remembered what she looked like before, but wow, she looks completely different now. What a dramatic, beautiful transformation. Make sure you stay to the end of the video to vote on your favorite look. Okay, I heard Naomi John shaved her head. It was part of one of her music videos. So let's see this happen. And also make sure you check out her music video. We'll link it below. But this is a quick one because it's literally behind the scenes of a music video. So let's see. Now it's really getting serious and I can't actually believe it, but I'm gonna have a sad moment. I'm actually quite nervous now because this is all gonna go. Eight years dyeing my hair on YouTube. And now this is gonna go for a music video. She starts with very long blonde hair. I mean, very long meaning like down to here. And she is going bald. She's going bald, bald. While recording it for a music video. That's a lot. You cannot get this wrong because you can't reshoot it. <laughs> No! <laughs> the first little sh gets stuck in her hair while they're recording a music video. That sucks. Naomi, you had one job just to shave the hair. But this is a good lesson for everybody. Do not shave hair that's this long and down to the scalp. You need to cut it with scissors first, you know, or else it will get stuck. That's why you see everybody cut the hair off and then shave. It's so weird. <laughs> that is so weird. I can do it. It's not traurig, it's just crazy. Wow, okay. It's falling, it's falling. How do I look? Okay, cut. <laughs> Oh, she went bald, bald. Oh, she is going short, short. She is taking it all off. Like, I don't know how to feel about this. I'm excited to see the result, I guess. Ah. Hey. Is this bad as well? <laughs> I feel like Naomi's freaking out as much as I am. She's like, I don't know why I did this. And I'm like, yeah, why did you do that? <laughs> Her face right now, she's like, what the f With chili right now, I'd be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi, what is this look going on right now? Shave the rest. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a very opinionated person, we know this, uh, so I'm gonna share my opinion. It would have been so cool if you had your hair in like ponytail or something and you aggressively chopped it off and then started shaving. It would also have worked a lot better. Well, you can see so many dandruffs. Oh my god, my life. <laughs> oh my god, the hairstylist is gonna fix it up, he's gonna come save it. Literally America's Next Time model, like Tyra, just giving somebody some crazy makeover. She's like, why did I do this? I wish I could just be like, I'm so confident. <laughs> and I carry the message of my song right now, but it is a lot. Oh, whoa, I was not expecting it to turn like this. Naomi has done so much shit to her hair that I thought she would be like, whatever. But no, she's upset about it. I feel bad. It was a huge change. Again, she went for it real quick. And I don't think she thought about it at all. Like she was doing it on camera. So this I'm sure is a lot to handle all at once. And now they're bleaching her hair, which I think is a great idea. She just needs like a look, a vibe, you know? Even with it shaved, we need a vibe. Don't be so dramatic, Allie. That shot was the vibe. When she did the reveal of the blonde buzz cut with the full glam on, oh, she ate it up. I love this look. Oh my God. This looks sick. I love it, especially with the bleach. That's what it needed. It pulled it all together. I often feel like when you do shave your head bald, bald, like you need a color moment. And that's just like the time to do it because you don't have to worry about your hair being damaged. It's super easy to bleach your hair. It's pretty much foolproof. I shouldn't even say that because nothing ever is foolproof when you guys do it at home. You know, you always find ways of fucking it up, but this often, is foolproof and just a great fun time bleaching your hair when it's this short. It's just so easy. I have to say now that we bleached my hair, I feel much more like myself. Right after shaving it, it was rough, but right now I feel much better also with the full face of makeup on. The whole vision of the video came together with the last shots. So very emotional, so I can't talk too much, but yeah, that was crazy. Oh! <laughs> Naomi, you look gorgeous. 
gorgeous. It is such a vibe. It's such a moment, but I understand. Huge change. And sometimes we don't always like the changes we give ourselves. Believe me when I say I do so much in my hair that I'm like, this is gonna be great for me. And I do it and I hate it for six months while it grows out. I actually just did that when I had my hair much shorter than this. I was like, why did I do this? I had a good thing going. Why did I have to cut it one inch long? You know what I mean? Like what was that? And that's what's called um, having no sense of self identity. Um, and <laughs> finding my identity through haircuts is what I do and colors. Well, this got depressing. Naomi, I hope you're feeling good about yourself now and you rock it, you look great. It's such a fun vibe. It's such a new different vibe for you and I cannot wait to see what you do with the color because again, you can have so much fun with a buzz head. Um, so far we've just sectioned my hair. I'm so stressed out. <laughs> Sometimes when I press play in these videos, I get stressed out. I literally cannot believe what's about to happen, which is she's obviously gonna shave her head. But look at how long her hair is. Oh my God. That is so much length that is just about to go. It's gonna be gone in the garbage done. And also, can we just acknowledge this crazy fun sectioning we have going on? Why is there a section here, a section here, there, here, there, here, here? I can guarantee you four is usually the perfect amount. And by usually, I mean pretty much 100% of the time. Unless you have a horse's mane on your head. Maybe do six. But we're about to see it all just come off her head. God, I love a dramatic change. And this is gonna give me just that. And I can't. Wait. I'm just using my normal scissors. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, her hair is so nice. Do I feel a bit like, are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, I do. But she's gonna do it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. I love the excitement on her face though. Like she is geeking out. She is so excited. Oh, me too though, girl. Me too. It's gonna be easier to cut it because. <laughs> Just do it! I'm doing it, I'm doing it right now. I did it! I'm so- ah! ah! I'm- ah! Oh my gosh, ah! Oh my gosh! I started, guys, I started! She's gonna wake up tomorrow, take out her hairbrush, and be like, fuck. <laughs> She's gonna have some ghost hair going on. I love how everybody else is freaking out more than she is. I'm just gonna cut myself some like bangs again. <laughs> Wait, why do I look kind of cute? Bangs. Yes, the bangs with the shaved head. I love the vibes. <laughs> Please don't leave it like that. I'm shaking. I'm literally shaking. <laughs> you are shaking. <laughs> so we got the two ponytails so far. I'm just gonna cut the bangs shorter so we can see how it looks. Now they're all uneven. Okay, so she is working her way around the head, cutting off every single ponytail, and it is just all going away. I don't know whether to be happy or sad. I'm going through all the emotions. I mean, she is doing the work, and she is really committing to it, and I'm like, I don't know, are we okay? Are we okay? Are we okay? <laughs> she seems to be vibing with it. I don't think the aftershock has set in yet. Oh, this is a look with just the bangs, the ponytails, and everything else shaved. Like, let's never do that again. The last cut. My hair is a little too thick for these scissors. I know. <sighs> it's all off. <sighs> I can't believe I did that. It's nice to touch my scalp. I feel like this isn't real. Could you not touch your scalp before? <laughs> Where was your scalp before? Oh my gosh! I think I'm cutting off your head. What does it look like? It looks right. Ah, ow! <gasps> it just pulled my hair a little ow, bit. Ow. We're gonna have a part in my, in my buzz. So what's looking like so far. Oh my gosh, I have like a bald spot right here. Mom, she accidentally put it to a two. Oh, I did it. This seems to be a reoccurring theme. We go too short. Mom, she put it to a two. Honestly, she should put it to a two. That is the perfect length. I think that's a great idea. You should be thanking your sister. Not getting mad at her. She did the right thing for you. Hopefully, we end up cutting it all out of two. <laughs> She's pissed. I don't trust her anymore, girl. She's like, come on. I did your whole head and it looks great. Yeah, but then you put it to a two. Kind of even now. Okay, so she is shaving the head and she's still having fun with it. She's vibing. She's feeling like this is the vibe. This is what she wants. Oh my God. And it is looking cuter and cuter as she cuts. Brad, I love you. I hope you're watching this. You're talking to me? 
I love you too. I watch your videos and I just love your vibes. I love your hair. Your hair always looks so beautiful. I just want to say that. Every single hairstyle that you do ever, you just look really good. I love you for loving all my looks. Thank you. Oh my gosh, guys. I literally can't believe this is real, but I feel so pretty. So I think I'm gonna keep it like this for probably a couple months because I really like it. Yeah, so this is what I look like. I love it. Oh, what a huge dramatic transformation. Oh my God, from this to this is insane. And I am so happy for you. I'm so happy you love it. And now she's going off and donating the hair, which is always great. Please donate your hair if you can. People need it and people want it. And it's just a great thing to do instead of just throwing it away. It is a very valuable thing to many people. This is what I look like right now. It's really, really long and it's blonde because I believe it and I dyed it pink but the pink didn't even last it only lasted like two or three weeks so yeah basically I'm blonde right now oh and then she went blonde which you know I love because I just said before that I love when people color their hair a different color when they buzz it looks sick yeah another one another buzz cut have you ever thought about buzzing your hair how many girls out there have thought about buzzing their hair comment down below and tell me why you haven't done it yet this bitch about to be bold hell yeah let's see it so it started we are just going right into things right into it cutting off just a tiny strand all right we do a little bang first everybody seems to be doing these little haircuts before you go and shave the whole thing which i think makes a lot of sense like if i was gonna shave my head and my hair was long i would want to see myself in every type of haircut so then when you grow your hair back out you can know what looks best on you so you start from a long length and you do every different kind of bang you can possibly think of. And then you do like a wolf cut or then you do a bob and then you do a shorter bob and then you do like a little pixie cut and you just try it all. People, you should also color your hair before you cut it. Cause why not? You know, why not try a different color if you're just gonna shave it anyways? She's going for it. We're getting shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter and, sh and shorter, 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 shorter. And now we're buzzing. And it's looking chic and cutesy and funsies and amazing. Oh my God. I love a shaved head so much. She seems to be very confident about her decision because she looks unfazed by this whole entire process. Oh my God. And her hair being naturally that blonde is so beautiful. I do think it's funny though when girls shave their head, they have kind of like a built-in part. Like it doesn't go away. It's just part. Just there. Well, it's done. <laughs> I'm really happy. I think it really makes my eyes look great and my cheekbones. You are so right on that. Your eyes are glowing and your cheekbones are boned. Bone ning and bright and radiating that light. I think everyone should do this. It feels really good. It feels really, really good. Everyone should do this at least once in their life. You have to. You have to feel your head shaven. I know not everyone's gonna like it. And that's okay. I'm happy. I'm really, really happy I did this. Can't stop touching it. <sighs> Another win, another huge dramatic transformation that changed the entire person's vibe and another person that loves their hair. Oh my goodness, we win today. Beautiful, Meredith, beautiful. Okay, it's time to vote. Now, I honestly cannot pick a favorite today. I know, because they're all my favorite. You all are winners today. <laughs> Yes, you killed it, all of you. Honestly, I'm just so happy how confident you all feel in your buzz cuts and you're feeling good and you're feeling cool and you're feeling brand new. It's just so much fun to watch and it makes me wanna buzz my hair, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do the opposite of what you guys did. I have made so many hair products just for you guys, so make sure you check out my hair care, my hair color line right down below or at xmonohair.com. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.